Hey guys, Buildzoid here, and today I'd like to share some of my thoughts on the current uh, GPU pricing and supply crisis we're in. Um, because I see a lot of comments on the internet just kind of trying to entirely blame this on AMD and NVIDIA, like, why don't they just make more GPUs? And, well, the thing is, it doesn't really work like that, and the current, like, supply crisis is not really their fault, as far as I'm concerned. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm not trying to run damage control for multi-billion dollar corporations, but I don't think it's fair to blame NVIDIA and AMD for a lack of manufacturing capacity at TSMC. So, let's get into it. So, first things first, AMD and NVIDIA don't make GPUs. This might come as a surprise to some people, but yeah, they, they don't make GPUs. Uh, NVIDIA and AMD uh, buy GPUs from TSMC. So, NVIDIA and AMD's ability to make GPUs is entirely dependent on how much manufacturing ca uh, capacity TSMC has available. Um, which leads to a kind of funny thought of uh, the RX 9070 XT is blocking manufacturing capacity for the RTX 5080. Like, however, I will point out, I'm certain that if AMD took their manufacturing capacity, like, took their manufacturing allocation and sold it to NVIDIA, NVIDIA would turn it into AI accelerators, not RTX 5080s. <laughs> but it is kind of just a, like, a fact that, like, yeah, every 9070 XT that comes out of TSMC could have been an RTX 5080 or a 5070, right? Or, like, it could, well, it could have been an entire 5070 or most of a 5080, because a 5080 is a bit bigger. Um, but that's something to, like, sort of consider in this situation, is, like, yeah, your 9070 XT is literally using silicon that could have been a 5080, um, it could have also been another AI accelerator for NVIDIA, so, <laughs> you know, and I think we all know that if an NVIDIA had this silicon available, it would be an AI accelerator, not a 5080, but still, um, that's kind of the, like, that's just an example of the situation we're in. But more importantly than that, um, gaming GPUs are gigantic, relatively speaking. Right, like the 9070 XT is 350 square millimeters, the 5080 is 378 square millimeters, the 5070 is 263 square millimeters, the 5090 is 750 square millimeters, and these are all made at TSMC 4 nanometer. And you know what else is made at TSMC 4 nanometer? The 9700X, and the 9700X is 70 square millimeters. And you don't hear about supply shortages of the 9700X. You don't hear about weird pricing problems with the 9700X. In fact, you can go and buy a 9700X right now for just under $300, which is less than its launch price. Because the 9700X is one-fifth the size of a 9070, but just half the price. That's why, like... You know, AMD doesn't really want to make 9070s, because from AMD's perspective, like, we could make five 9700Xs and sell them for, like, $1,500, or we could make one 9070 um, and sell it for $600, which is a very easy choice. You're not going to make a 9070, right? Like, you're just not. Like, that's just... Why would you do that? That's insane. Um, or in NVIDIA, like, and, and again, like, even with the 5080 from NVIDIA, like, this is less bad than a 9070 in terms of the silicon to price ratio, but compared to a 9700X, it's still horrible. Even the 5090 is. Actually, the fi what I find really interesting is actually the 5090 is not, like, disproportionate in its pricing ratio. Like, it's a little bit less than double the size of a 5080, um, but it's only double the price, which is weird, because usually with bigger dies, your yields go down. Then again, I think the 5080 is actually a fully functional chip, whereas the 5090 isn't. Um, but the thing is, is if the 5090 had the same silicon to price ratio that a 9700X has, this would be $3,000, not $2,000. Um... And that's not considering the fact that the 9700X doesn't come with a motherboard, it doesn't come with any memory, 
and it doesn't come with a cooler. So, you know, the 5090 would actually have to be even more than $3,000 to mu match the uh, silicon to dollar ratio of a 9700X. So, that's basically the issue, is just like, if TSMC doesn't have spare capacity, you don't want to be making low-margin silicon. And gaming GPUs are low-margin silicon. They've always been low-margin silicon, because this isn't a new thing that, like, you know, the 9070 is 357 millimeters squared. Like, off the top of my head, I think this is pretty close to the same size as a Radeon HD 7970 die. Um, but the big difference is that back in the, you know, in the past, TSMC had tons of spare manufacturing capacity. They don't right now. And with gaming GPUs, um, that is a real problem because, you know, if you have a factory that makes CPUs and GPUs, if you have extra capacity, like at some point, you're going to make all the CPUs that people want, right? So making any more CPUs doesn't make sense. And at that point, it makes sense to start manufacturing some lower margin products like gaming GPUs, but we don't have a spare manufacturing capacity at TSMC. It's it's completely maxed out, and we know it's maxed out because you can't buy a gaming GPU. Because <laughs> gaming GPUs are about as low margin as it gets. Um, so, yeah, and in the past, that just didn't happen. Like, TSMC just had a bunch of extra capacity to make all of the gaming GPUs and all of the quadros and like, AMD didn't make their CPUs at TSMC at the time, right? Back, like, when the HD7970 was a thing, uh, AMD was making CPUs as global foundries, right? So, like, the CPUs weren't even contesting the GPU manufacturing capacity. Whereas now, it seems, like, as far as I know, basically anything, like, any modern high-end silicon is coming out of TSMC. So, all of NVIDIA's AI accelerators, all of AMD's AI accelerators, all of AMD's uh, CPUs... Uh, Intel CPUs are also made at TSMC. Like, everything is now made at TSMC. And so, you know, like, why would you make low-margin gaming GPUs? Um, and unfortunately, there's not really anything that can be done about it. Um, because even if NVIDIA took, like, their massive profits from selling AI accelerators and gave those profits to TSMC so that TSMC could build out more manufacturing capacity specifically for NVIDIA's gaming GPUs, that would take years to come online, right? So it wouldn't supply the, like, it wouldn't solve the cur current supply shortage. It would come online, like, next year or the year after that, and that's just, like, that doesn't help anybody. So obviously they're not going to do, well, actually they might do something to try, like, have more capacity in the future for, like, future generations, then again, though, you know, you don't want to overinvest in advance because if you end up with a bunch of fabs that nobody's using, uh, that's a very quick way to end up with no money as a, like, silicon manufacturer, right? That's actually how AMD got itself into a bu bunch of trouble back, uh, way back in the past, is AMD built a bunch of fabs and then they didn't have anything to produce in them be well, th they built more fabs than there was demand for AMD CPUs, and AMD had to spin off their fab division as global foundries. So, yeah. Um, that's, uh, that's that. So basically, we're, we're just kind of screwed, is what we are <laughs> as gamers. We're, we're just screwed, because gaming GPUs are gigantic, and... Like, you know, I don't want to pay $1,500 for a 9070. Um, but if the, you know, but if it was $1,500, then it would actually kind of make sense to manufacture. And the 5080 would have to be like $1,700 or something. Right? Um, and like I said, the 5090 would be up at like 3000 or more. Um, and then we probably wouldn't have supply issues anymore. Well, I'm not sure how much NVIDIA is making on their AI accelerators, but at least AMD would be a lot more motivated to make 9070s if they were $1,500 instead of 600 Because, uh, yeah. Like, you can make five 9700Xs or you can make one 9070. 
that's not a very difficult choice to make from a, you know, profit perspective. Um, unless, of course, nobody wants a 9700X anymore, but you could always lower the price a bit, and it's still not going to be as bad as selling a 9070. Um, so yeah, screwed we are as gamers. So anyway, that's it for the video. Um, hopefully you found it somewhat interesting. Um, hopefully it wasn't too depressing. Uh, though it looks like AMD is going to maybe try to, you know, it would be, you know, what would be cool if AMD just licensed the 5080 design from NVIDIA and made it for $600 because evidently there's margin in that. Oh, <laughs> uh, well, I guess NVIDIA's R&D costs probably. Actually, I wonder about that. But that would be kind of funny is like AMD branded 5080s at 600 at like yeah at $600 like that would actually make sense or well okay not 600 maybe like 650 cuz if AMD can sell this much silicon for this price then like Nvidia is well Nvidia can't even be bothered to make 5080s at this price so like um in reasonable quantities so that's just ridiculous. Anyway, I'll, I'll stop the video at this point. Oh, yeah, there's links in the description if you'd like to support the channel. Uh, that would be much appreciated. And uh, goodbye.